The story of Jesus Christ's 12 apostles is one of the most fascinating and impactful in human history. These men, personally chosen by the Son of God to be his followers and messengers, played a crucial role in spreading the gospel message and in the foundation of the Christian church. However, the ultimate fate of these 12 men is marked by a tragic reality, revealing the challenges and persecutions faced by the early Christians. Would you like me to continue with the next part of this detailed script? After the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, the twelve apostles spread throughout the world, bringing the good news to various regions. Each of them faced unique challenges and persecutions in their journeys, but all met a tragic end. According to biblical accounts and Christian traditions, most of these holy men suffered martyrdom for their faith, being killed in brutal and cruel ways. Peter, the leader of the apostles, is traditionally believed to have been crucified upside down in Rome around 67 AD. It is believed that he requested to be crucified in this manner, considering himself unworthy to die in the same way as his master. On the other hand, the apostle Andrew, Peter's brother, is said to have been crucified on a cross shaped like an X in the city of Patras, Greece. James the Greater was the first of the twelve apostles to be martyred, being beheaded by order of King Herod Agrippa I in Jerusalem around 44 AD. His brother John the Apostle is the only one of the twelve who did not suffer martyrdom, dying of natural causes in Ephesus, Asia Minor around the end of the first century. Philip the Apostle is said to have been crucified in Hierapolis, Asia Minor. Bartholomew, also known as Nathanael, is traditionally associated with martyrdom by flaying in Albania. Matthew, the tax collector who became an apostle, is said to have been killed by spear in Ethiopia. Thomas, known as Doubting Thomas, is remembered for taking the gospel to India, where he is said to have been killed by spear in Milipur, now Chennai. James the Less, Jesus' brother, was stoned to death in Jerusalem around 62 AD. Judas the Deus, also known as Libius or Judas, brother of James the Less, is said to have been killed by arrows in Beirut, Lebanon. Simon the Zealot is traditionally associated with martyrdom in Persia, modern-day Iran, where he is said to have been sawn in half. Finally, Judas Iscariot, the betrayer of Jesus, did not have as tragic an end as the other apostles. After betraying the master for 30 pieces of silver, Judas repented and committed suicide by hanging himself in a field near Jerusalem. Apostles of Jesus Christ, men who left everything to follow the Son of God, and who for the most part sealed their faith with their own blood, becoming martyrs of the nascent Christian church. Their lives and deaths inspire deep admiration and reverence, serving as a reminder of the high price many paid to spread. Jesus' message of love and salvation, the stories of Jesus' twelve apostles, are often portrayed in art, literature and cinema, reflecting the profound impact these men had on human history. Their lives and deaths are remembered and celebrated by the Christian Church, serving as an example of sacrifice and dedication to the cause of Christ. Despite the adversities and persecutions they faced, the Apostles of Jesus left a lasting legacy. Their lives and testimonies were instrumental in spreading the Gospel message and founding the Christian Church. They became models of faith, courage and devotion, inspiring generations of believers the most cruel forms of martyrdom suffered by the Apostles were, for the most part, extremely brutal and painful. Some of them stand out for their brutality and barbarism, revealing the intensity of the persecution faced by the early Christians. One of the most notorious cases is that of the Apostle Bartholomew, also known as Nathaniel. According to Christian traditions, he was subjected to the terrible torment of flaying, in which his skin was slowly and agonizingly removed from his body. This form of martyrdom was considered one of the most cruel and painful. Another apostle who suffered a particularly brutal death was Simon the Zealot. He is said to have been sawn in half, an extremely painful and agonizing execution practice. This form of torture and murder was used by some rulers of the time to inflict the maximum amount of suffering possible. The apostle Andrew, Peter's brother, also faced a tragic fate. He is said to have been crucified on a cross shaped like an X, known as the St. Andrew's Cross. This variation of crucifixion was equally agonizing, prolonging the victim's suffering. In addition to these forms of martyrdom, 
Some apostles, like James the Greater and Judas the Deus, were stoned and shot with arrows, respectively. These executions, although less elaborate, still inflicted great pain and suffering on the condemned. The cruelty of these deaths reflects the intensity of the persecution faced by the early Christians. How did the persecution of early Christians affect the spread of Christianity? The violent and brutal persecution suffered by the apostles of Jesus and the early Christians, far from extinguishing the nascent faith, actually furthered the spread of Christianity. Paradoxically, the blood of the martyrs became the seed that made the Christian church flourish and spread throughout the known world at that time. Despite torture, executions and attempts to eradicate the new religion, the courage and unwavering devotion of Christians inspired many to convert to the faith in Christ. The deaths of the apostles and other believers, far from intimidating Jesus' followers, served as a powerful testimony to their faith and the truth of the gospel. As Christians were persecuted and killed, their stories spread, touching the hearts of many who were impressed by the strength of their conviction. This determination to face death, rather than deny their belief, attracted new converts, who joined the Christian cause with even greater fervor, challenging the efforts of authorities to suppress the new religion. Furthermore, persecution forced Christians to organize more efficiently, creating networks of mutual support and strategies for spreading the faith. This need to unite and protect the Christian community in the face of adversity ultimately strengthened the nascent Christian community, making it more resilient and determined in its mission. Paradoxically, the persecution of early Christians, instead of weakening them, actually accelerated the expansion of Christianity. As the apostles and other believers died as martyrs, their devotion and testimony inspired new converts who joined the cause with even greater fervor. This dynamic of persecution and resistance deeply marked the early centuries of the Christian church. The violent and brutal persecution suffered by early Christians not only propelled the spread of faith, but also had a profound influence on the formation of Christian theology and doctrine. Faced with adversity and bloodshed, church leaders had to confront theological and spiritual challenges that shaped the development of Christianity. One of the main themes that gained prominence in this context was the issue of suffering and martyrdom. Christians had to grapple with the reality that their leaders and fellow believers were being brutally persecuted and killed. This led to a deep reflection on the meaning of sacrifice and witnessing faith in the face of adversity. The theology of martyrdom strengthened with the valorization of suffering and death as a means of participating in Christ's sacrifice and achieving eternal reward. The writings of the Church Fathers, such as Ignatius of Antioch and Polycarp of Smyrna, emphasized the importance of remaining steadfast in faith even in the face of death. Moreover, persecution also propelled the development of a more structured and organized ecclesiology. The need to protect the Christian community and preserve the integrity of faith led to the consolidation of episcopal authority and a clearer definition of roles and responsibilities within the church. The theology of martyrdom also influenced the understanding of the nature of the church and its mission in the world. Christians began to see themselves as a community of faithful willing to endure suffering and death for their faith, becoming a living testimony to the truth of the gospel. This experience of persecution and martyrdom also contributed to the development of a deeper spirituality rooted in faith. Christians learned to find strength, comfort and hope amidst tribulations, developing a closer relationship with God and the community of believers. I thank each and every one of you for being part of this journey. May each video be a light on your path, a compass guiding your steps towards love, peace, and inner harmony. Leave your like, comment, and share with anyone you feel needs the word and knowledge. Stay blessed. Amen. We want to thank all our subscribers or not the Spiritual Direction channel for following us and enjoy our content that are made with great dedication and love. And if you haven't signed up yet, sign up and help us reach more people. Stay with God. Amen.